Okay, here we go with part four of our CSS layout tutorials. Uh, I've, I'm going to work on the header in this tutorial. So I've got this region up here at the top, uh, div up there, called with the ID of header, and I put a little text in there that says Aspen Middle School. So I'm going to I'm just going to select that down here in the little HTML trail, and come over to my CSS styles panel and click the new CSS rule button and it's it's gonna it's gonna pre-type the name in here for me you can see it says pound sign wrapper pound size pound sign header so that means that what I'm defining now is the header ID inside of the wrapper it's being very specific um, and I'll just leave it that way that's just that's just fine um, and it's gonna make it's gonna write this information down on the layout.css page <clears throat> Okay, click OK. So now my header up here, um, uh, I don't need to set any fonts. I am going to change the background here because I have a background image for this that's going to go uh, behind this div or it's going to go in as the background image. So I'm going to browse for it and here in the images folder I've got a header VG so you can see there it is and um, its size is 800 by 72. So I'm going to use that as the background image, and I do not want it to repeat, so no repeat. And I can click Apply to see that show up. Now, if you're not used to using background images, and you're just used to just dropping images in line onto documents, you can see that DIV didn't change its height. The width is OK, because I set the width um, with the wrapper ID, but the height isn't correct. Um, or I'm not seeing all of the image. So if I want to change that, I've got to come down here now to um, the box and I'm going to tell this one to be 72 pixels high and when I click apply it should open up to be exactly that uh, and I'll leave the rest of the stuff uh, empty for right now. Now I've got some text in there um, this Aspen Middle School thing and I can pos I'm going to position that probably using um, a different uh, CSS so that's all I'm going to do is I set up uh, that I want the background image in there in my header and I want its height. The width is already be, being defined by the wrapper ID so I don't need to do anything there. I'm just going to say OK. Alright, so um, this little bit of text that's here, my title, I'm going to tell say that I want that to be uh, an H1 Okay, so H, H1 there. You can see it makes, all that H1 really does is make that big and bold. And uh, But I want it to be a little more specific and I have a little more control over what that looks like. So I'm going to click anywhere inside that Aspen Middle School text uh, and then come back over here to my CSS style panel. And when I click the new style button again, it's going to uh, want to name it here for me. So it's a pound wrapper, pound header, and h1. So it's only defining the h1 tag that shows up inside of the header and that is inside of the wrapper. So very specific. Click OK. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is to make sure that there is, um, I'm going to zero out here the margin and padding. OK. And I want to change the color here because it's a little bit hard to see that. So I'm going to make that white and apply and see if that helps a little bit. And it'd be nice if it was pushed away from these edges a bit. So I'm going to go back to the box and I'm going to use margin for that. So let's just say I give myself 10 pixels from the top and 10 pixels from the left. Click apply. You can see it gave me some space there. I could even put a little bit more maybe 15 and 15. Okay. So there is um, my title. I'm going to say OK to that. And let's preview that in the browser to see how things are looking so far. OK, so I have uh, my header in. I'm not quite getting that top uh, margin pushed down from the upper edge. I'll have to go check on that to make sure I put that in correctly. Um, I do have a nice, uh, my page is centering here. Um, I do have a top margin up here that i got to figure out where that's coming from. but so far I've got the, the header, my header region is starting to look like, um, look how I want it to.